I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on complex numbers. We will actually prove De Morbius theorem using mathematical induction. For that proof, we need to know what is product of complex numbers. So this exercise will be utilized over there to prove De Morbius theorem. So here now we'll concentrate on the complex numbers Z1 and Z2 with absolute values r1 and r2 and the arguments theta1 and theta2. These complex numbers can be written as z1 equals to r1 cos theta1 plus i sin theta1 and z2 equals to r2 cos theta2 plus i sin theta2. We need to find the product z1 times z2, right? Now geometrically, I could represent these complex numbers uh, with the pole at O, let us say Z1 is this complex number with R1 as the absolute value and theta1 as its argument. That means this angle here is theta1. Now, let us assume that Z2 is this complex number. So, so that is what Z1 is being represented at. This is Z2, which has the absolute value of R2 and the argument of theta2. Right? So that means this angle here, counterclockwise, will be theta2. Okay. Now, when I do product of these, then what do I get? That is what we are interested in figuring out. Is that clear? Okay, so let's calculate the product. So we need to find what is z1 times z2 equals to. So clearly we have to multiply these. So we get r1 cos theta1 plus i sin theta1 times r2 cos theta2 plus i sin theta2. Now, when you multiply, you get product of R1 and R2, right? Within the brackets, we'll do product of the cosines and the sines. So, cos theta1, cos theta2. Plus I times, we can now write cos theta1, sine theta2. Now multiplying with the second term, we get plus i times sine theta 1 cos theta 2. i square is minus 1, right? So we'll write minus sine theta 1 sine theta 2. Clear? So that could be written as the product of r1 and r2. Now, Combining the terms which are real and imaginary, we get cos theta 1 cos theta 2 minus sin theta 1 sin theta 2. And now for the i terms, we could write this as plus i. So we have the term here which is sin theta 1. Let me write this term first right sine theta 1 cos theta 2 so so this is cos theta 2 plus cos theta 1 sine theta 2 now we could write this as product of r1 and r2 and that is cos a plus b formula right so we get cos of theta 1 plus theta 2. And here we get i sine of theta 1 plus theta 2. So what do you notice? We notice that when we are finding the product, in that case, the absolute value becomes product of R1 and R2. And the angle is sum of theta 1 and theta 2. So that could be represented by something like this, right? 
where z1 times z2 will now be equal to the, uh, let me write here, r1, r2 will become the modulus for this and theta 1 plus theta 2 will become the argument, right? So, so now this is the product of these two. So that angle here is theta 1 plus theta 2. Is that clear to you? As shown here, right? So this is a very important formula. So whenever you multiply the complex numbers, their arguments get added up and the absolute value gets multiplied, right? So, so now we know that if z1 and z2 are multiplied, then what we get here is the product of r1 and r2 as their absolute value. And as far as the arguments are concerned, they become sum of those arguments, right? So theta 1 plus theta 2 plus i sine theta 1 plus theta 2. Is that clear? So that is a standard formula which we are going to utilize in many of our problem solving techniques and also proving some theorems. So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.